Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a little look at some of the updates that we've seen over the last week or so from the Fly-By-Wire team and the A32NX mod. If you're new to the channel, very warm welcome to you all. Be sure to click that subscribe button down below and if you've enjoyed today's video, hit the like button too. So we're parked up in Corfu, some really good freeware scenery available on flightsim.to, one of my favourites, and uh, always nice to fly into in sunset. And we're parked up on stand in my channel livery. So straight to the cockpit and uh, I've got the fly pad already on and already we can go from the dashboard page which is where it's we're going to all start from initially and you can just go ahead and hit settings which is the little cog on the top right. Currently they've enabled some of the sound settings here so for those of you who wanted the dog barking noise in the cockpit to be audible you can now toggle that on and uh, have that audible in the flight deck during uh, startup, pushback, etc. Um, or you could just leave it off for that extra realism. And you can also fiddle all the dials so you can turn everything onto max. If you want loads of noise, wind outside, whistling through the cabin, through the windows and things. So there's uh, three little options there so far. Interestingly as well, some of the other menu items are greyed out. It's a little teaser almost for us to see what is coming soon in the EFB. So uh, we've got the brightness settings here so we'll be able to turn it up and down at some point eventually. And in addition to that, all of the options that we're familiar with inside the MCDU, so our ADRS alignment times, uh, ATIS sources for um, using the amazing printer and getting all of our weather data from the MCDU along with our thrust reduction altitude and a few other little bits are all visible down here as well uh, including the save states for how we have our pressure so those of you in the US will use uh, inches of mercury and for those of us in the UK and Europe and some other places in the world will use uh, Q&H in hectopascals so that's a really cool little function that's coming soon and uh, over time everything greyed out will be unlocked as well as and when they get coded in so quite exciting so then quick example just to highlight the point if you like and uh, show you guys how the altitude and the speeds get synced up it uses ground speed and it's worth uh, showing that that's in the top left of your nav display there GS 334 333 and so on that's our ground speed and that's what it's currently using for the top of descent calculator so head to performance and you can see it's already syncing our ground speed currently which is really good we can just hit sync there and it's getting our latest altitude from our PFD if we wanted to add in a manual figure instead we could just go ahead and untick sync and enter our own one in so uh, for example it could be if we're working out our next step down we could just go for 7000 and we could get a target of uh, say for example 3000 and it's telling us there with a 3 degree rate of descent we need 13 nautical miles before our target to get from 7,000 to 3,000. If we update that to sync, you can see it's switched again to 20 nautical miles. The angle at the bottom, that can be changed, so you can say actually I want a 2 degree angle of descent, or you could say I want a really smooth one, I'll go for a 1 degree, and it updates to show in that instance you need 61 nautical miles. But ordinarily you would have a 3 degree rate of descent. Now if you click that red X, it gets rid of the rate of descent and it gives you three options so you could either go with sync and it'll tell you how many miles to go and it'll update all the way through which is a really cool function or you could sync with the vertical speed of the aircraft currently so if I go autopilot off and I put the nose down a little bit you can see our vertical speed starting to increase for our descent and our distance target is coming down to match it so a really cool little function there. So there's lots of different options getting built in here. Same with manual input, you could go ahead and you could put in um, a manual speed reading and it will give you updated targets for your descent. So very cool. I'd advise leaving that one on sync and ordinarily you could just leave your current altitude on sync as well and it will update all the way through 
and as the maths changes between speed, altitude, etc., you might see that the distance there will change as well. So, a really handy tool. So, there you go. Some audio settings that have now gone live in the EFB, and uh, more to come as well, greyed out. You can just about sort of see. And a top of descent calculator in the EFB as well, helping us sort out our descent planning for our arrivals, which is a very, very handy feature. Now, of course, there's lots more to look forward to coming soon in the A32NX, so stay tuned and I'll bring you all the very latest. So, something else that I'd like to show you guys, it's a work in progress and I should note that it will probably change again by the time it actually is added to the mod, the development version properly in the near future, but uh, the ground tab is now being worked on as well and as you can see here it looks very different to the placeholders that used to be in place. Currently uh, in QA we're asking for these to be greyed out initially and then once active they then go green so uh, we'll see what the developer is able to do, the person that's working on this, but effectively now at some point in the near future and the A320neo and the fly -by wire team will tell you guys when it's released and updated we'll be able to start using these so let's connect the stairs and in he comes you can see it's highlighted white um, because we've chosen stairs or jetway make sure if it's stairs outside you click stairs if it's jetway you click jetway let's trigger the baggage and that's gone white ground power if we click fuel, bear in mind that the fuel truck can come from far and wide so we can be waiting quite a significant amount of time for the fuel truck so remember that you've pressed it and let's do catering. So we've clicked ground power once to activate it let's click it again and we should be able to turn it off and get rid of it. But there we go and now all the ground staff are working away at putting all the catering on board steps are attached for passengers and the bags are now going on as well and we've just come off ground power having clicked it on and clicked it off again so really cool update coming soon for the fly-by-wire A320 remember of course that this page is all a work in progress so one final thing that I want to share with you guys is so as you guys have just seen we've uh, done stairs baggage ground power and catering now everything's clear, we've got the beacon on, we've got the APU fired up and what we can now do is activate pushback from inside the EFB which is really cool. So you can see we want to push back straight and when we kind of get just past the fuel truck we're going to want to start a turn so our nose is pointing out towards the water. So let's see if this works. We click the down arrow to activate the tug and there it goes moving into position and remember of course to turn your part brake off this is a work in progress there are tweaks to be made of course uh, what we have asked to be done is uh, some of these badges to be grey until they're active So, excuse all the displays, I'm just uh, spawned in here at Corfu to show you guys the EFB updates that you can expect coming soon with the pushback and the ground services page. And there we go, we're on our way backwards. So we can go ahead and uh, turn the engines on for example, and we can stay in the flight deck as we push back, which is nice for that added bit of uh, realism there. So there's the catering truck. And just as we pass that, we want to aim to start a turn. Turn circle on this is very good, so you might have to fiddle around and keep it straight until you really need to do make a turn. Uh, 
Right, let's start that turn now. We can start engine one. Let's try and uh, get this nicely on the line. looking a bit better. We can straighten the tug and hit the stop button to stop the tug. And as you can see we've ground to a halt. There goes the tug, part brake on. So there we go, a little demonstration showing you guys some of the upcoming features to the Flava White A320 including the ability to push back and enable all your ground services as well coming soon so keep your ear out on the channel for all the latest I'll of course let you know when it's added into the mod via the discord server and be sure to click that subscribe button down below I hope you've enjoyed today's video let me know what you think in the comments below and be sure to check out my live stream schedule for streams in the very near future thanks for watching